What's up, Wanna Coffee fam? We're back with your favorite hosts, Christian and Tabby. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Hello. Hi, uh, hello, hello to Lotus. <laughs> Mom and Dad here. <laughs> We're back. We're seeing you, attack you, Alley Cats. Meow. Meow. <laughs> How you been, Tabby? All the better for speaking to you, honey. What about you? How are oh, you? Amazing. Wait, catch us up. I you had um, COVID for a little bit. You feel you're better. <gasps> you're I know. I'm no longer attractive. <laughs> <laughs> So if you guys have been following along, you know that we found an article that said people that are attractive haven't had COVID yet. And neither Christian or I had had COVID at this point. And then guess what? Somebody. The world had other plans. Mm-hmm. I decided to eat humble pie and get COVID somehow. I don't know how I got it. I wouldn't have known I had COVID either, by the way. It was so bizarre. I mean, I am vaccinated, but and I'm not like into that whole debating about vaccines, but I had COVID and my mom, I live in, in the same household with her and she didn't get it. It was so bizarre. Like so, she's also vaccinated. So well. She's vaccinated. So, so like, we're just, I'm just so grateful that um, I survived and like everything was fine because I had a friend last year around this time, he was in California and he passed away from COVID and um, he had bacterial pneumonia and a COVID at the same time, like a little deadly concoction. It was really sad. Um, it was devastating. So I've been really funny about getting COVID and I hadn't had it. And then when I got COVID, I was like, I feel fine. But every day I woke up and I was like, I'm okay. Like, I was just so nervous. But yeah, so I'm okay now, which is amazing. I had a weird cough that was like not in the throat or chest. It felt like it was coming from my stomach. It was so bizarre. Ooh. Yeah, it was so weird. But I'm glad that I'm a okay now. <laughs> Team getting better. <laughs> but I'm um, on our way up, and all that all is good. But just before um, I got COVID, there was a very important, very like, what's the word? Controversial event that took place, and that was. The Roe versus Wade overturn. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Essentially, here in the United States, um, guns have more rights than your body, than than the body of a woman. Uh, Women are now being forced to carry in most states or, you know, as that is what is legally... uh, I don't know, that, that, that's the new rules. And it sucks. Um, I am not a woman. I should not allow, should not at all be allowed to tell someone what else to do with their body, let alone should I be allowed to have much of an opinion on something that I could never do. But at the end of the day, like, I thought we already dealt, or I thought we already had a decision on this. Why are we overturning, like, things that take us back? I don't know. It's just very... Very scary, very scary time here. Very scary, weird um, feeling. But at the end of the day, I live in California and I'm blessed and I'm thankful that uh, Gavin Newsom was like, F that, you know, no. Mm. Now, overturning is a political term that is reversing a law. Is that what this is? Or yeah. reversing the judgment on, the judgment call. I'm not too ah. sure as to what the laws that it's implicated or yet, yet, because I'm now people are changing a whole bunch of laws, but at the end of the day, it is not illegal to refuse an abortion. I guess. Or I, honestly, the details are a, little, are a little gray for me, but I am from California. So uh, again, it, I, I blame it on my California naivete. We're blessed be and please. Move. Blessed be California. Yeah, exactly. Blessed be and please come here or any post. Wow. Now. Yeah. I um, don't have much experience with the American politics, but I was very traumatized by the events that were taking place on social media with people's 
comments, people's pictures, people's opinions. Everyone was so aggressive towards one another and it was horrifying. I, I am more so like that happened and it's very sad. Um, but some of the behavior on social media, it was so toxic and I couldn't believe that. Oh, I was, I, I just was so shocked and kind of, yeah, traumatized by some very horrific images that came out, you know, just opinions, the way people couldn't communicate it. I just, I'm not here for that kind of stuff. Like I'm here for a civil conversation and I know that people need to get their opinion across, but I'm not a big fan of gruesome images, graphic, aggressive scare tactics. I'm not, not into that. That's I will weird. say uh, all I what's been trending on my TikTok is a lot of like those interviews with people that are like you know I'm I'm happy that abortion um, you know is no longer allowed and I'm happy that 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 Roe vs Wade got overturned but then in the same vein or even in the same breath breath they're like no we can't outlaw masturbation. It's like, well, how can you tell a woman what to do with her body, but you can't tell a man what to do with his body? It's like you're calling one, one the same jerking off. Could you could argue that's reckless abandonment whenever he jerks off and he sprays his load, and all those un babies are, you know what I mean? Sorry, not to get all gross and nasty, but I feel like <laughs> TikTok is revealing the um, the bullshit and the um, you know stupidity that these people are, um, I guess, agreeing to without even really realizing what they're saying yes and no to. It's so bizarre because my very first ever um, thing with abortions was when I was in high school. And I didn't know what it was. And they taught us what an abortion, like we went to this camp that taught us about homeless people. And we went and they talked about something called a backyard abortion. And we were like, what's that? And they used coat hangers. Yeah. Oh, it was, I couldn't believe we were like experiencing it. And like, I just, it was a very, I'm not sure if it was a scare tactic, like from the educational point for like us or whatever like I'm not sure what it was but I know that I was very distressed for quite some time after learning about these backyard abortions I felt sick to my stomach because it was very unsafe um That's very messy real. very dangerous like when you when you make things like abortions illegal you're just gonna make people stuff coat hangers up there you know inside their bodies oh, you know, rummage crazy. around and then you have the there are movies based off of that um what's your name got a, a well, dirty dancing. what was that oh well there's there's an abortion in dirty dancing oh totally oh my god obsessed no 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 um Vera, Mira, um, hmm, I'll text you. I forgot the name of it, but there's, it's like back in the day, this older woman, she knew, she was known as the abortion girl and you, you'd go to her to get, you know, your stuff mm -hmm. taken care of. And like, if you're going to outlaw things, that's what you're going to make. And now these women are going to have forever problems. And now these women are going to damage their bodies that that doesn't need to happen. This isn't a barbaric era. This is, you know, 2022. We can easily get rid of an unwanted pregnancy. These people shouldn't be forced to carry rapes or molestations or, or something that can't be supported. Like, you know, this is a 14 year old, a 10 year old girl in Ohio wasn't allowed to have an abortion. Like, like, this is not, just because our body physically can do it doesn't mean that we need to do it, nor does a fetus being, what is it called? Nor does whatever being fertilized mean that it's a, a child. Jesus, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I mean, just so I personally, <clears throat> no, that's okay. I personally believe that, right from conception it's a human being but okay. like I'm not someone that's gonna go and like like be again because like what I just said the backyard abortions and all that's horrific right um it, and it's just like it's a very sensitive topic for me too because I'm 
I've never had one myself, but like I'm, I've, I've been in a situation where I've been around someone that's had to get an abortion and it is a very traumatizing, tragic experience. And I wouldn't wish that experience on anyone, but I know some people do it in a really loving, it's very helpful to them, but I've just only ever had like negative experiences with abortions and I think that's why I'm also very like sensitive in a way about talking about it and I don't really like talking about it I didn't want to talk about it today (laughs) but Mm -hmm. but like that's my kind of where I'm coming from and all that like so yeah I don't know come at me haters but I don't I don't know if I can confidently disagree I don't know I just it's not you as a woman expressing yourself is what's most important and what should be um, at the forefront in this conversation to begin with. So if there are haters, be there, but thank you for sharing. Thank you very much. That's very kind. (laughs) I can't have have an abortion. Mm. Literally, I I, physically, I I can't. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I can't. (laughs) Yeah. I've had a lot of... But on uh, a... Oh, wait, anyways, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I was just going to say, on a lighter note, maybe we could um, wrap this baby up and follow us on Instagrams, leave a comment below on what you think about this whole overturn, what you think of all the politicians that are in Congress. Is that the right if word? At the think, if you should be paying for child support at the beginning when the fetus is at the beginning. These are like... Yes, child support has to be paid no matter what you have to pay child support whole okay i am literally someone that grew up without child support and i needed it and well my mom needed it and like if you don't pay child support you were scum of the earth that's all i can say that part. exactly exactly it always uh, I'm speaking I'm say it's like, it takes two to tango yes and yes. two to tango and, and both should be helping <laughs> yeah yeah and learn the word no and be okay with the word no if someone says no to you don't go there (laughs) yeah exactly like like it's not cool to push past someone's boundaries it's disgusting yeah that's what i have to say it's really not cute it's not cute it's not a good look on you (laughs) yeah Uh we're not about that anyway we're not about that well, anyway, yeah. I'm going to go throw another shrimp on the barbie. Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to go order a hot dog and some burgers with fries. <laughs> Is that what we do? I want a burger with fries so bad. <laughs> yes. I want a hot dog. But... <laughs> it's the one. <laughs> yeah. I will see you soon, Tabby. I'm so happy that right. you're I love I'm that. so happy that you're getting out of, you know, isolation. I'm so happy that you're going to make that coin back. Make it rain. Make it rain, baby. Make it rain. (laughs) Alley cats, tabby cats, it was so lovely to chat to you guys. We love you so much. And we look forward to appearing in our next episode. And make sure to leave us um, comments about what things you'd like to have some healthy discussions on because we're all about that base. (laughs) Yeah. Or like, just hit us up. Like, tell us what you want to hear or tell us what you want to like argue or tell us that you would like to watch a movie with us. I don't know. Oh my gosh, yes. Right? We should have a meet and greet. (laughs) (laughs) Where we can all watch a movie. We need to meet each other first. (laughs) Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That part, that part, that part. All right then, to meet each other, Tabby. Lots of love. (laughs) LOL. LOL, bye. That's it for us, folks. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe at beartiger.productions or hashtag wantacoffeepod.
orange is not my new black. 